this video is perfect if you're wanting a little inspiration to get in the autumnal spirit. I'm going to be going through some things that I'm going to be doing this cozy season to make me feel cozy and just romanticize this time of year. Let's get into it. Let's see if you can guess the first thing. Ready? Ha 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 do 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 I feel like that's a bit better. The other one was too high pitched. I want to watch Twilight. All of the Twilights. I feel like I've not watched them for a good few years and it's the perfect autumnal, gloomy, cozy movie. Harry Potter is for Christmas. I want to have a Twilight themed movie marathon night. I think I'm gonna ask my mum and my sister because they both love Twilight. More than me, I just like Twilight. They love twilight i'm gonna get twilight themed snacks if i can or just autumnal snacks and we're gonna make the living room look cozy and watch hopefully more than one twilight i think i might watch the first one by myself and then maybe watch number two three and four with them one evening my sister's very pregnant so i'm sure she would love the free snacks and the cozy movie night i've been wanting to do this for years and why i haven't i don't know i want to make ned Flanders hot chocolate. I'm going to literally recreate it to a T. We got the whipped cream, we got the chocolate sprinkles, we've got the wafer, we've got the marshmallow on top that's toasted, and obviously the hot cocoa in the mug. Delightful. I've never tried a pumpkin spice latte. I've had pumpkin things before, but not pumpkin spiced, so I'm really intrigued to try that. If you've got a recommendation for where I can get a good pumpkin spice latte from, please leave that in the comments. It's weird, because is it just going to be like a cinnamony latte, but with cream on the top? Because when I get a latte, I can't imagine that I'd want cream on the top, unless it's a hot chocolate, but I guess we'll find out. I want to buy myself a really really nice autumn candle. I'd rather buy an autumn candle that I know is well made. I literally am obsessed with the smell and it's going to last a long while than buy a cheap candle. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to really treat myself to a lovely candle. I want to create a Thanksgiving dinner for my family on Thanksgiving. I'm English. We don't do Thanksgiving here. This is the one that if I were to guess that I wouldn't end up doing, it's probably this one because I imagine a Thanksgiving dinner is a lot of effort. I've never even really made a roast dinner. I haven't. I'm just really intrigued by Thanksgiving dinner like I think they have sweet potato and marshmallows mixed together and that amazes me also they have a turkey I don't usually eat turkey so I'd be intrigued cranberry sauce pumpkin pie hopefully I'll get around to doing that and what I really love as well is that at Thanksgiving everyone has to say something they're grateful for and I think that being grateful and having gratitude is the best thing in the world appreciating what your life is I think that's an amazing holiday on YouTube I'm gonna do a full day of only eating autumn foods so autumn inspired foods that you get from I don't know a drive through or the shops or that I could make myself I've done it for Christmas before I've done it for Easter I've never done it for autumn I want to make a homemade soup I really like when you go to a pub and you get a really well-made homemade soup and I think it's probably so easy I've just never done it tomato one or maybe like a butternut squash one and then to go with my soup I'd like to make homemade bagels I would actually like to make homemade sourdough I know there's a lot of complications when it comes to sourdough one day I'm just not there yet but soup. I'm really keen to make soup when it's a cold, crisp autumn day. Speaking of cold, crisp autumn days, I want a crispy walk out in the autumn trees, orange leaves everywhere. And when I'm on my walk, I want to stop at a little cafe and get a takeaway hot chocolate or a takeaway yummy drink that I fancy at the time. Look at my nails. I've got Biab nails. This is the third time I've had my nails done and they're long and I love them. And I'm really excited to get autumn themed nails. Cherry red, maybe like a brown, a manicure even, but like with full on it sometime, like maybe like a little leaf if I can get a manicure with a leaf on it, would that be weird? I'm just excited for the autumn themed nails. Last year I dyed my hair red, I will not be doing that this year. The nails is all I'm going to change. I want to go to the farmer's market with fresh autumn produce, pick up some apples. They do one in my village, so I'm hoping to definitely go there. If I get a free weekend and my boyfriend's free, I might ask him to drive me up to St. Ives or Eli, where George's Bakery is. And I might want to go to George's Bakery. No, I do want to go to George's Bakery, but I just seem to not ever plan for it. It's because I have to ask and I know no one actually really wants to go other than me. So it's as if I have to ask 
ask someone to drive me. I could drive myself, but I don't really want to go by myself. The next thing I want to do is make use of local coffee shops for days where I'm just editing or on my laptop or doing bits for my wedding business. And I want to get a cozy drink and maybe like a cozy little sweet treat or treat myself to lunch. I feel like I really want to do a solo date to a coffee shop. I don't know why. I feel like that is the ultimate autumn vibes. I've bought a walking pad. So it's like a treadmill, but it's really thin and you can't run on it. So it's literally just for walking. And last year I saw so many videos online about cozy cardio. I've used the walking pad a little bit during summer, but because the weather's so nice, you always want to be outside when you're walking. And I think the walking pad will be so good for cozy mornings and I'm gonna do my cozy morning cardio because if it's pouring down with rain all day I don't necessarily want to go outside obviously I will but I think it's a great way to get your steps in humble crumble in London I'm gonna be making my own apple crumble of course it's been on my radar to try I've been close to trying it this summer but I just think save it for autumn save it for when it's a little bit chilly because then you've got the custard you've got the cinnamon it's the perfect sweet treat for an autumn bucket list also cream cookies in London I really want to try them as well i have tried them before they are amazing i want to try i think they probably do autumn flavors so maybe i could do that as well autumn camping if you've seen other videos on my youtube channel me and my boyfriend have a van it's his van and we go camping in it and i think it would be really fun even if we don't sleep overnight but just to set up the camping equipment for the day for the evening have a cozy evening in the van i think we probably will end up sleeping there so you wake up in the morning and it's all crisp it's chilly it's gonna be very cold and we went camping last weekend bank holiday weekend i was freezing finally autumn crafts or just cozy crafts in the evening i feel like instead of scrolling my phone on tiktok i can do a little bit of watercolor painting while watching a movie i think for my mental health that's definitely something that if i'm alone I like to do because otherwise I find I overthink things that literally I shouldn't be overthinking. Okay, moving on, I'm going to end this video with an autumn bake it list. I haven't included any baking and I am obsessed with baking. If you know me, you'll be thinking, well, where's, where's the baking? Here it is. I've done a whole separate section just for baking. Cinnamon rolls. Not the cinnamon rolls that I've made before that have raisins in. They're kind of more like cinnamon buns. I want to do the traditional American style cinnamon rolls. Hot glaze of cream cheese frosting over the top. Rise up together so they stay in their shape of like a square. I really want to do that. Cookies. I make cookies all the time, but there's something so cozy about spontaneously making cookies on a really cold evening. And I could even do like an autumn theme cookie maybe i mean i know it's still a cookie but i want to make a skillet cookie when i was younger i was obsessed with all things skillet for some reason and i genuinely it was when i was about 12 <laughs> and i don't think i've used the skillet since then but it is still in my wardrobe at home so i want to make a skillet cookie and just watch a movie with three scoops of ice cream i would probably share it with elliot i want to make apple crumble i make apple crumble every single year usually at christmas but i feel like it's a good autumn dessert as well caramel maybe dollop of vanilla ice cream what else goes well with vanilla ice cream sticky toffee pudding i've made this once at the tea room and a lot of the ladies said that it was the best sticky toffee pudding they'd ever tasted i don't know if they're just saying that but i did have some as well and to be honest it was the best sticky toffee pudding i'd ever tasted as well <laughs> you've got dates in it but you don't taste the dates that's what i found crazy and the sauce is sublime so i'm definitely going to be doing that and making a recipe for it pancakes i want to make the pancakes that zoella always used to make where you whip up the eggs and they're like stacked american pancakes maybe with banana caramel and pecans i feel like that would be a very autumnal pancake stack my nan made a pumpkin cake once it was like a pumpkin tray bake and it was delicious with cream cheese frosting and i think i want to do that because it's pumpkin so it's very autumnal to be honest i don't really remember what it tastes like so i'm intrigued obviously carrot cake is on the list i make carrot cake all throughout the year i think i made carrot cake in one of the hottest days this year but it is autumnal themed and it'll be tasting that much nicer just because because it's cold out. Ooh, I wanna make cinnamon roll blondies. Just like a cinnamon roll with the flavor, but the texture of a brownie. Banana bread, but spiced banana bread. So with cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, maybe a cinnamon swirl with drizzle of icing on top. A sticky toffee cake. I recently bought icing bags. I do have some at home, but they're a bit disgusting from when I was younger and I didn't use to clean them properly. I bought icing bags from Lakeland the other day and I had such fun, such fun as Miranda, Miranda throwback. I had so much fun decorating when I 
to make carrot cake blondies so i want to get my old stand mix out properly beat some buttercream and then i want to decorate an autumn cake so probably sticky toffee cake something like that autumn cake i could just do an autumn cake and it'd be like a spice cake french toast i've never made or tasted french toast i've always opted for pancakes over french toast so i don't really know what it tastes like i think it's just eggy bread but with sugar last but not least chocolate chip muffins i have wanted to make these since the olympic thing with the chocolate chip muffins so that olympian guy he's more than just an olympic guy he's an olympian he said the muffins that they had at the olympic food court were to die for apparently they're little ones but i highly doubt that i want to make my own with like maybe a chocolate center loads of chocolate chips i've not made muffins since again i was like 10 that is everything i hope you feel inspired for autumn i could potentially do some autumn themed videos doing or baking some of these things if that's something that you want to see let me know in the comments Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.